Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 24 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gaussian's law. We look at this system. It tells us two large flat metal. This is the keyword. Tell us this is conductor, right? Are separated by distance and located parallel in this way. And then we know these two conductors carry the Opposite charges, positive phi and negative phi. This is surface charge density. And then we need to use the Gaussian's law to show that from the point far from the edges, the electric field density between these planes is this one. So we can see we consider this is a conductor. For conductors, we know the charge will distributed at the surface. Agree? So that means this uh, positive plant is charges well located at the surface. This side still the negative charge located at surface. However, we can consider this is positive charge, this is negative charge because the, the in the inductive rules, right? So this point the negative positive charges well located at this side, at the inner side of this uh, parallel. Agree? And the negative side charge well located at this side, it is still the inner side of this parallel because they induced each other. This is positive charge, this is new charge, they contract each other, so they located as close as possible, right? And at this side, there is no net charge, no net charge. This is how the charge distributed on the conductor. Now we can see we, if we want to find the electric field in between these uh, parallels in this region, we can draw the Gaussian surface look like this one, right? Still, we can see this is the electric field times the Gaussian surface equal to enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. Agree? Yes. And then we can see the enclosed charge comes from there. Agree? So we can use the uh, surface density times the A, the this uh, surface, Gaussian surface. And then we input the enclosed charge Q as the phi times A. We get the answer, look like this one. Agree? The second one asks you the outside of the plants on either side of the field is zero. We can see as we talk about this is two conductor, the charges located at the inner side. So at the outer side, if we draw a Gaussian surface, is there any enclosed charge in no? This this enclosed net charge is zero because no charge located at this surface. So it's zero. Right? The third one asks you how would you result be changed if the two planes are non-conductors? Question. For non-conductors, the just says the charges located uniformly distributed on these two planes, right? Yes. So that means there is electric field inside these planes. But if we draw the Gaussian surface for the inner part, for the outer part, will anything change? No, right? So the two planes work, if the two planes work non-conductors, the result would not change. Thank you.